happy lover, you know, viewers or guys. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so this is our one more part. And last uh, part, we learned that how you can basically create the drop system. And now, because we know that how we can create, uh, or we already done the ping system, and there's a lots of system we already done. Now let's create the shooting system basically. So for that, I need first some icons and others. So let's create in the input section. Let's create an input. Uh, basically, uh, I need some icons right now. So I, ha I already have lots of icons. I create them. So I can put it at here and two D. Okay, this is will be for fire. So this is for fire. Now let's go to our easy. Then in the blueprint section, then the UI section. In the basically, you can go to UI item display because it's always a uh, pop up and you know it's always stay. That's why we don't need to do anything more. So what you need to do at here, we need a button which is basically allow us to basically you know whatever I can say like display the uh, the UI inputs what you will create so at here we want to basically draw and set it to image so it will be look perfect you know perfect okay now let's set the uh, button size to 162 by 162 and at here will be set it to IMG so you can also search IMG or you can search just IM so then you need to go to textures inputs and just paste that here okay come on even you can choose the, like this texture and come at here and just paste this once and it will be set automatically okay once you do that now we have this so at here in the anchor point let's set it to right side so compile save and now let's try that if it's uh, displaying or not yep pretty much it's uh, displaying well but it have a issue that it's uh, not have enough brightness because in the tint you need to just make it to like this bright and it will be look great okay we have now these uh, icons basically so now what we need to now we have discord channel so you can join there and also you have any type of question or if you want to send me any look you can just go there and join and you can send me also we have telegram channel so you can join there too you can follow us in our facebook page or visit my profile and you can download my game from google play store if you have any personal project or you want to just send me personally something so you can send me gmail on my gmail id also in lincoln you can get my paid course from udemy link in the description below also you get my plugins assets and other stuff in my epic marketplace account link in the description below that uh once ever we pick any weapon and we have the weapon in our hand at from that weapon we can basically fire up so for creating that system what we need is uh, we need to go to blueprints the items and the master weapon so at the master weapon will because this is a static mesh uh, will be add a arrow with this like this and will be joined at the position uh, location like this then compile this is basically the projectile spawn location that from which location the projectile will be spawn so at here will be create a custom event okay because we have that so we can call that the custom event that fire okay so at the fire what we will do is we will get the arrow then get wall transform and from that will be basically split so you'll find x y that is basically the rotation and also find the rotation so we'll be search that spawn actor from class so spawn actor from class and at here we need to select our projectile or we need to create a, bu a bullet right now so right mouse then blueprint class and actor and let's give it that bullet okay so at the bullet let's give it that bullet pp okay in the bullet section we need to add a shaper or any type of object so our user will be able to you know will be just doing the visibility work and then will we add a projectile movement so the projectile movement is basically allow you to uh, move that your actor in one location to another location you can even change the location uh, but in my case let's uh, change uh, the value to 9000 so what will be do this will be basically control the speed of that bullet okay now let's move around at here and at here let's give it that bullet bp 
and because on the fire we are basically doing that so even you can recombine that there's an no issue so just recombine and connect with the transform make sure that is try to adjust the location if it's colliding and in the bullet will be in the spare will be set it to that non collision make sure the generator overlapping is uh, disable and then at here because now uh, we can call that a function uh, sorry the event so you can go to UI and from the UI if you go to our main player like at on the using or switching weapon we have a data that the master are using actor like which actor we are basically using so we have that specific data right now so we can go to our UI and on this a uh, fire button press basically so will be used like on press and on release so we can get our main player and we can call that uh, using actor reference and from that we can because this is an actor reference I guess we can't find the fire yep we can't find the fire so what you do to cast to our uh, basically the weapon weapon pp master and we can what you can do we can get a pure cast you can do the pure cast if you want because we are just we need the reference if it's success or not so from that what we need is uh we need the fire function basically the fire and fire execution so and the fire we need one more uh so uh because we also want that in a you know auto mode that's why i don't run in a single fire so for doing that what we need is with the fire we need a what custom event that fire fire off and let's set it to name that fire on and at here let's create a set timer by event and this oh sorry not the handler i set the timer by event set timer by event and then from that will be custom event that should and loop type and let's set it to 0 0.11 and just connect with the fire and then for clearing the timeline will be used like individual and connect okay and simply connect like this okay now we have this uh, stuff now the main uh, uh, the stuff is we need to call this function and you know disable that function so from that once we're pressing will it should be fire and if you are not so fire off okay it should be do this so compile and save if I click on now play and for example I have this one and then if I try to fire as you can see it's firing basically okay that is the stuff so suppose uh, I'm I picked one more the AKM so if I try to press as you can see there's a glitch right now once it's uh, picked it's basically it's, uh, basic thing that this is our which one we pick that is the basic level main uh in our hand that is not so we need to switch that and once we switch then it will be work again okay that is basically the glitch so what we need to do is suppose uh once you're picking is basically setting it to a main using actor because it's a basically picking and that's the basically uh issue that when i when it switch this so it's basically doing that same so what we need to do at before switching this uh, to this option uh, we need to get the validity that if the our uh, user is uh, the using actor is have any data or not okay so at here will be set it to we can I guess uh, we can make it to get the validity note yep so what will we do if it's a valid already okay the if it's already valid then it should be not added in a master but if it's not then it should we do this so copy paste not valid then it should be do this that is the basically the system or change up we need to do so compile save now i guess it should be work if we picked so we have this so we can shoot suppose that in our acam we have in our acam also picked so if i try to fire yep the bugs has been fixed as you can see so which weapon will we have then only from that specific weapon we are able to shoot now you are seeing that there is some kind of like gravity working okay that is the basically stuff for the gravity so for fixing the gravity uh, system you can go to projectile and from that projectile you can change the gravity to zero 
so it will be never now work uh, the Newton law or it will be never follow the Newton law so sorry Newton we can't do anything okay so that is the right now is the drawing because for animation it's already have the auto recalling okay because uh, for our, our weapon okay now suppose that what we need next the next what we need is we already create the projectile but just look the projectile is spawning but they are not uh, destroying okay they are basically spawning for lifetime okay so we need to fix this or otherwise our game will be crash a moment okay so for fixing this what we need is we can go to bullet and we can uh, select the projectile movement go to even grab and we can say uh, right here that stop stop uh, trace or you can get this first and from that you can search the stop stop as stop or i guess you can do that there should be an option called uh on yeah that's on the project st stop basically uh so you can get the wires basically impacting at which location the project is basically stop and from that we'll be going to destroy that actor so the component will be work so as a result will happen let me make it some more like this so if i try to pick a weapon and once i picked if i try to fire here it will be stay for a long time but if i try to hit in the wall as you can see after some time it should be destroyed uh but it is not uh, destroying i guess we need to do one more stuff add here on the blood shell let's add a collision add in uh this collision okay uh, we can connect with the default let's make it smaller like this uh, let's hit that on being overlapped to block tall okay and generate events make sure it should be work and save that and or otherwise we need to do some play with this stuff it should be work uh i guess um, it's working but i'm not sure oh uh, no some of cases not working so we need to fix this issue so i'll be fix this issue later so don't need to worry guys okay now we have this thing now what we need is we need basically lots of stuff like if i remember that maybe let me check did i add or not uh easy picking shooting back equip and we keep and yeah we need to create basically the jump system okay so in next tutorial we'll be going to create the jump system and other stuff also we try to fix this uh bugs or issue so thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you next tutorial video now we have discord channel so you can join there and also you have any type of question or if you want to send me any look you can just go there and join and you can send me also we have telegram channel so you can join there too you can follow us in our facebook page or visit my profile and you can download my game from google play store if you have any personal project or you want to just send me personally something so you can send me gmail on my gmail id also in lincoln you can get my paid course from udemy link in the description below also you get my plugins assets and other stuff in my epic marketplace account link in the description below